<laughs> I mean, you know, we all have different definitions for love. <laughs> you know, the, for me, it's however much is in my wallet. Uh, how much love I can get that evening. Uh, <laughs> whether or not I'll get syphilis after. <laughs> no, sometimes I like it, it gives me a little tingle. <laughs> Desensitized low these many years. Uh, so we now uh, we'll, we'll take you back. This is you know, the, the, we're, what we see now. You know every every choice, every decision that we make has a consequence, and we see we see her now uh, at the she's she's at the precipice, the very precipice, and we're gonna see we get to see inside of her soul. So please welcome the lady. <laughs> Was the hope drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Hath it slept since and wakes it now to look so green and pale at what it did so freely? From this time such I account of thy love. Art thou feared to be the same in thine own act and valor as thou art in desire? Wouldst thou have this, that which thou esteemst, the ornament of life, and live a coward in thine own esteem, letting, I dare not, wait upon I would, like the poor cat in the adage? What beast was then that made you break this enterprise to me? When you durst do it, then you were a man. And to be so much more than what you were, you would be so much more the man. Nor time nor place did then adhere, and yet you would make both. They make themselves, and that their fitness now does unmake you. I have given suck, and know how tender it is to love the babe that milks me. I would, while it was smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from its boneless gums and dashed the brains out, had I so sworn as you have done to this. Screw your courage to the sticking place, and we will not fail. When Duncan is asleep, or to the rather will his hard day, day's journey soundly invite him, his two chamberlains will I, with wine and with sail, so convince that memory shall be the fume. <coughs> And the receipt of reason, a limbic only. When in swinish sleep their drenched natures lie as in a death, what cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? What not put upon his spongy officers, who shall bear the guilt of our great quell? Who dares receive it other as we make our griefs and clamor roar upon his death? Thank you. 